together. Flex. Flexing muscles in an unlikely place. For the first time in the Islamic Republic history, Tehran is hosting the Asian Amateur Bodybuilding Competition. Hosting the event is a success for Iran, a country that had no bodybuilding federation until 2005. Conservative religious teachings do not normally approve of such exhibitionism, but Iran's overwhelmingly young population has imposed its will. The main reason that forced the Islamic government to form a separate federation for bodybuilding and begin recognizing it as a sport was the huge enthusiasm of the younger generation. Ruhollah is only 25 years old and he's competing for the lightweight title. He's been building muscles for eight years based on a simple realization. When I was a teenager, I was always so skinny and small. I really wanted to change the way I looked and to be stronger. That's why I started going to a club and soon it became very serious for me. Islamic regulations do not allow the competition to be broadcast on state television. Iranian women are not allowed in this stadium, and there are still no female bodybuilding clubs. But the pressures of society may eventually force changes. Some see this as a golden opportunity. Javad Azadian, himself a kickboxing champion, runs one of the most successful fitness clubs in Tehran. He knows that there is a growing demand for the sport, so he's invested a bold hundred thousand dollars to launch his dream project. Many families pushing the youngest to go to the gym and bodybuilding is the easiest sport to go and train and get what you want. Right. What, what do they want? Ah, they're looking for, uh, for sports, activities, for better looking and basically killing your time. Some 6,000 bodybuilding clubs are currently active in Iran and there will be more as long as Iranian youth remain determined to feel and look better. As far as the looks are concerned, Iranian society has changed beyond recognition since the Islamic Revolution in 1979. But there's more to it than meets the eye. Iran's younger generation wants more freedom and better life standards too. And it's clear that it will get what it wants in due time. Ali Reza Ronaghi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.